All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, work out one of these excellence questions from uh, 2012 Level 2 Algebra. It's an excellence question, and um, we'll, see, we'll see how we do. Uh, here was the question, one of them, and in this um, equation here, we want to solve for this letter right here, solve for C. Okay, and it looks really complicated, but I've got a proportion, which is two equal fractions. And if I want to get rid of those fractions, I, uh, the cross products are equal. So I cross multiply and set those expressions equal to each other. So what I mean is, is this times this equals this times this. So it's not too bad. So let's start that out. So two brackets, 3x plus 8 is going to be multiplied to x squared plus x minus 6. I'm going to put that in brackets. And that's going to equal the product of these guys. Uh, equals x plus 3 brackets times 6x squared plus 4x plus c. And there's that c that I'm going to try to solve for. All right. Uh, next step, what I want to do is I want to expand. And this is a pretty big expanding problem. Okay. So um, I'll, I'll expand this one first, and I get uh, 6x plus 16. And I'm going to put that in brackets because I'm going to multiply it by that x squared plus x minus 6. And this guy, I haven't done anything over here just yet, but I'll, I'll get there. Now, let's, let's clean this side up right now. Okay, so to expand a trinomial times a binomial, what I do is I take this x and I, I multiply that x to every term first. Okay, so I'm going to multiply that x to every term in there first. So let's do that. So x times 6x squared is 6x cubed. x times 4x is positive 4x squared. And x times c is just positive cx. And I'm going to write the c first just to keep it in alphabetical order. doesn't really matter. Uh, now I'm going to multiply this 3 all the way through. So I'm going to expand that through there. Put those little arrows there to remember to multiply. And what I get, 3 times 6x squared is positive 18x squared. 3 times 4x is positive 12x. And 3 times c is just plus 3c. Okay, so that same process I just did, I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to take the uh, 6x and multiply it to every term in there, all three of those. And let's see what I get. 6x times x squared is 6x cubed. 6x times positive x is positive 6x squared. And 6x times negative 6 is minus uh, 36x. Yes, minus 36x. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is take the 16 and multiply that through. Getting kind of crowded here, but that's okay. And when I take that 16 and multiply that through, I get positive 16x squared pl plus 16x. And finally, 16 times negative 6 gives me a negative 96. And I make that equal to this big, long expression that I worked out here. 6x cubed plus 4x squared plus cx plus 18x squared plus 12x plus 3c. Wow, what a long equation here we have. However, we look at it, we always want to write it in descending powers of x. So x cubed, x squared, x to the 1. Okay. Um, I, can, I can do some cleaning up here big time. I can collect like terms on each side of this expression. And when I do collect like terms, put it in descending powers of x. So uh, let's do some collecting like terms here. Uh, there. 4x squared and 18x squared, that gives me, what does that give me? 22x squared. Um, and these guys, plus cx plus 12x plus 3c. I'm going to do something sneaky right here, and you'll see, you'll see it later on. There's, I, I can actually combine those in like terms, but I won't do that just yet. Over here, uh, let's do the same. Let's collect like terms. Let's clean this up. Let's clean this up. So we get 6x cubed, that doesn't have any like terms. 6x squared and 16x squared gives me, uh, what does it give me? Positive 22x squared 
negative 36 plus 16. Let's not make integer mistakes. That gives me negative 20x. Negative 20x. And I think that negative 96 is just all by himself. Okay, now I look at this expression, this big long expression, and I go, oh, hey, wait, the uh, 6x cubed and 6x cubed, I can subtract that from both sides of the equation. Um, okay, oh, it also has another positive 22x squared and positive 22x squared. Okay, suddenly it becomes a much easier equation, negative 20x minus 96 equals, now what's left over here? Now, this, here's that tricky part that I was talking about. Cx plus 12x, is th those are actually like, 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 like terms. Those are like terms uh, because they both just have x to the 1. So what this is really like, um, I can combine these like terms and their coefficient is actually 12 plus c, brackets, x. I just collected those like terms. There it is. 12 plus c is the coefficient. And then the plus 3c is just at the end. Okay, well now what? I want to solve for c. Well, negative 20 x. Okay, this, negative 20 x, must equal uh, 12 plus cx. Negative 20 must be that coefficient. What? Therefore, therefore, negative 20 must equal 12 plus c. Or you could go about it and look at negative 96 and 3c. Uh, negative 96 must equal 3c. Either way, you solve for c here. You subtract 12 to the other side, and you get negative 32 equals c. Okay, wow. Uh, or you could divide by 3 here. And if you, negative 96 divided by 3 is, is negative 32 as well. Okay, so a pretty complicated equation, but it actually works out once we do a lot of the simplifying here. Okay, so that's that, that's that problem. Pretty interesting one. Um, looks, looks really bad, but, but doable. All right, good luck.